Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be continuing off from my previous video where I talked about my experiences and all the fun stuff and things I did during April of this year, 2023. But this video I will be doing a merch haul as I hinted at many times throughout that video. So all that good fandom stuff that we love and adore that I will be showcasing t in today's video. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it, shall we? But before we actually jump into it, just a quick side note. I will have a slot at the end of this video dedicated to all of the artists because there are several stickers and art prints and things like that. At the end of the video, I will have a bunch of their cards all in one picture just in case any of you guys wanted to check out any of the artists I showcase in today's video. However, there are some artists I forgot to grab cards of or did not have any business cards. So as a result, I do not have the credits for them. So if any of you watching happen to be any of the artists and would like me to credit you, I would be more than happy to do that. So please, if you see anything that you've done in this video that I'm going to be showcasing, please do let me know in the comments. I'll most likely pin or at least heart your comment. Just so all of my subscribers and people watching this video know who is the ones that have done certain art pieces. All the non-art pieces, obviously it's going to be the big companies themselves. But for all those smaller artists, I really want to make sure I showcase and credit my uh, art where I can. So just keep that in mind. There's a few things like that, but the rest of it will be shown at the end of this video. Now let's jump into the good stuff. So the first one is a Muzakura sticker. Look at this. Look at this. Like she is so... I love her. Muzakura is one of my favorite characters ever. I I just... I love her. She, she is... I love, you know, just her sense of maturity. I love her original um, design a lot. And I like her new design too. Because I really like that she has a high ponytail now. And I like that change more. But I like how she has like shorts. She's like the mature one. She's the older one. And she her theme is the lone wolf. I just really love that about her. So. But look at this art. It's so cute. I... I focus will you okay well there you go you can see this like I like this artist has this like swirly eyed art style it's very cute I really like this sticker and there's nothing on the back <laughs> just in case you guys are curious there's nothing on the back this is a Sailor Moon coin bank as you can see there's a pop out thing here you open this up and just like that and you can put coins or even other things if you really wanted to but the intention here is that it's a coin bank and I really like this it's cute and I just it, it pops and I like the art style of this one and you can also use the slot back here so there's two slots for it and I like that and I like her pose here and I like the art style like I said and it's really nice and that's what I like about it just so you guys are aware there's multiple things of Muzak Row in this video so just keep that in mind. <laughs> when I went to the con, I kind of bought a bunch of Tokyo Mew Mew, so there's that. Mostly Zakro, because Zakro is the best. If they had Oyama, I probably would have bought him too, just, just, just so you guys realize that. But yeah, okay. Here is an art print of the Zakro. This, I believe this is a watercolor, like you could probably tell based on the backdrop of it. This is another small, or this is a small print, yeah. And I really like this. I don't like love love the art style, but I just really like how the colors pop and it's it's just really nice looking. You know, like you can see her Zach Ross whip there and and like I don't know if that's I think that's supposed to be her like tail or whatever, but it's pretty cool and I, I just think it's really unique and again, I really like new Zach Girl. So yeah, this is really pretty and it's very, very mature looking, which is very, makes a lot of sense for Zachro. So here is a print of Sailor Moon. This is a small print, but I really like this. I, I saw this right away and I was like, wow, that's really interesting. Because this one kind of reminds me almost of Jupiter, and this one almost reminds me of Venus. 
So I just really liked how it was that, you know, that iconic uh, Sailor Moon art meme from a couple of years ago where everyone was drawing this particular pose of Sailor Moon and some people were even doing other characters and do different things like that. I never I never joined in on it because meh. I didn't didn't really want to. Didn't really feel like it, you know. Art blocks a thing. <laughs> so yeah, but as you can see here, I'll do it like this so you can see it better. But yeah, this was actually the last one that the guy who did this had and I was like, oh he was like, oh, are you sure you want this? This is the last one. I was like, yep. I was like, wow, yep, I do. So needless to say, I ended up picking this up. I was the last one. I got the last one. So that's pretty neat. But yeah, I just really like this. I, you guys probably know I'm a sucker for things that are colorful. So like, I saw this and I was just like, wow, that's really pretty. I feel like that would be nice sitting somewhere. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I don't think I've ever bought an a actually. Yeah, I've never bought an anything from Mermaid Melody. The only thing I ever got from Mermaid Melody was a couple of pins as part of the stocking stuffer in, in a, as a Christmas gift. Well, part of Christmas one year, basically. Otherwise, I've never gotten anything from Mermaid Melody, and it's a shame because I absolutely love Mermaid Melody. It's one of like my favorite series ever. So. Yeah, I highly recommend Mermaid Melody. But anyways, I finally did buy something from Mermaid Melody. I bought this art print of Rena because Rena is my favorite from Mermaid Melody. It's just really pretty. It's really nice. I kind of wish it had been a mermaid print, but I just really like this. You know, um, green magical girl guys, they're not very common anyway, so like... I like to have some green where I can just for that color pop, you know? But I really love Rena. Rena was always just the one I like really related to the most, so she was always my favorite. And she's still my favorite. And I really like this. You know, all the artist prints of the Mermaid Melody characters were like this, pretty much. They were, you know, rather simplistic, focusing most of the detailing on the character uh, themselves, which is great. I, I really like this and it doesn't need to be complicated. This is just a fine example of it. it doesn't necessarily need to be complicated to look really really nice. And like I said, I just love Mermaid Melody and Rena so much. So, so next we have this Tokyo Mew Mew print. This is a poster print of the all of the girls from Tokyo Mew Mew and I really love this print. This artist had amazing deals where you could buy you know, you could buy three things and get, and get, like, or buy one, like, buy two and get one free or whatever, basically, you know, one of those deals, right? And I don't see that very often at cons, and I got this at the con I mentioned that I went to in the previous video. And, yeah, this artist was definitely my favorite artist out of all of the ones that were at the con because of that and because of this art style. I love this background, we have a bunch of strawberries, this like rainbow colored background which makes sense. And they even included Ringo and Barry which are very uncommon because they obviously haven't been, haven't gotten their own anime adaptations. But yeah, as you can see here, I'll uh, do it like this so, so you can see. There's Zakuro, love Zakuro. But I honestly just, I really... I really like this art print. It's really pretty and this artist really truly did win me over. I cannot believe this, but I actually bought something from Princess Connect. I was actually able to make it happen. So this, you probably can't tell what it is and that's okay, but it says Princess Connect on it. So like, it says it right there, Princess Connect Redive. But anyways, I bought a keychain slash standee of one of my favorite characters from the game. Muimi, aka Noem. She is so awesome and I love her and this keychain is so cute. Um, she is, in the original Princess Connect she was a villain, 
But in Princess Connect Redive, she's a hero. So, in other words, you know, that makes her an anti-hero. <laughs> and literally, it's pretty much canon that she's an anti-hero. So, like, I love her so much. Like, she is one of the best from Princess Connect. And, um, back when the global server existed and I could actually use her um, in my gameplay. Yeah, she was actually a pretty good character. Here is her stand here. It's got a little crown and yeah. It's very nice. The back, it just says Psy Games, obviously, because Psy Games is the ones that are the ones that do Princess Connect. Same deal at the bottom, but here is what she looks like on her stand. There she is on her stand. Very cute. Very nice. What's great about this is that I can put this on my shelf next to the summer pecarine figure I have. So, yeah, this is very nice. Now I actually have something else from Princess Connect. So yeah, I absolutely adore this keychain. It's uh, slash stand. It's rubber stand slash keychain. This is so cute. I love this a lot. Mimi is one of the best girls for sure. Here was something I bought for myself because I feel like it could be useful to me. Then I realized it's a little funky, but it's from my favorite piece of media of all time. So it was just like, eh, you know what? I've seen that on eBay for years. Why don't I finally buy it? This is an Is This a Zombie memo pad. And if you guys didn't know, which how do you guys not know? Like, how, how do you seriously not know all, the, all this time? If you're subscribed, you, you'll, you'll know. You'll know if you're subscribed. So if you're not, then you should subscribe. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> Is This a Zombie is my favorite piece of media ever. It's my favorite anime. It's my favorite magical anime. It's it's everything to me, literally. It's Gore wa Zombie Desuka, or Is This a Zombie, is a fantastic piece of media that is extremely criminally underrated by just it's just underrated okay it's, it's not even by underrated by anyone anymore it's just it just is underrated okay that, that's what i'm saying but this is a memo pad so like as you can see it's got all these pages inside whatever and you know i can write on it and stuff but it's a bit a tiny bit smaller than i thought it would be and it's a little bit flimsier than i thought it would be like i actually had to super glue it to the thing because it fell out right away so that's a bit awkward so now it's even more awkward, but I might just use it as a display item at this at this point. But yeah, it's is this a zombie? And no, it doesn't have Ayamu on it, which is you know obviously a zero out of ten. <laughs> okay, no, not a zero out of ten. I know that's a bit, bit harsh, even though you know I am a silly avid Ayamu fan. You know, it's fine. It's it's great. I love this so. Good stuff. The next item, shout out to the Precure fans. Shout out to the Precure fans. They they deserve extra love. We have Kira's Guy. Kira's Guy's blushy. Um, if you guys know at the start of Hero Garter Sky, this guy was my favorite. I think Wing has taken over that position, but I really, really love her. I love her side cape. I love that she's a blue lead. I love her design. She she gets i just really love her design that was honestly the thing that drew me to her the most um because personality wise i would probably definitely pick subasa at this point but honestly there's traits there's bits and pieces to all four of the main characters <laughs> that i find relatable so like it's tough this season picking a favorite character honestly at least to me i don't know about you guys but i think it is but anyways here is Kier Sky. her hair is very fun to play with it's it's soft probably not as soft as some of the other plushies that I've showcased in this video but she's a very high quality very nice plushie as usual from Precure and then here is her card here is her card I love these cards from the Precure plushies so much like there's a bunch of them usually have like a rainbow in the corner and that's like the half the reason I love the plushie Besides the character art image, obviously, you know, there's there she is, there's Sky. So this is very, very pretty, very nice, as expected. And it came with a bonus. And yes, I've already seen what card it is, but I will showcase it for you guys. Ready? Three, two, one. It is the Hero Garter Sky group, which is funny because I literally never get lucky on these things. So the fact that I got the Hero Garter Sky group card, 
I love it. It's so pretty. I am very happy. It has wing on it. We're good. Yeah, I love I love this card. It is a great bonus. The last time I got one of these, I got precious. So because for some reason, I always seem to end up with precious when it comes to the random stuff. Don't know why. These two stickers are from Sailor Moon. So we have one from Crystal and one, I believe, based on the original. So this is Sailor Moon and it has the Crystal logo on it and it's a heart and I like how her hair uh, comes down here. So I figured it would be a good buy because it's Crystal. It's from Crystal and then this was cute and all these stickers were for a dollar. So I was just like, you know what? That's worth it. That's a good deal. And then, yeah, here's a chibi Sailor Moon. I like that. And now here we have Amane's plushie from Delicious Party Precure. And Amane is my favorite character from Delicious Party. She's one of my favorite cures. I love Cure Finale. I wasn't able to score her plushie because the site that I buy Precure, well, a good bulk of Precure nowadays from Finale sold out. So I don't know if she's ever going to go back in stock or not. So like, that's an L. But here's Amane, and I also have Gentlu, so um, I have Amane's other other alts. I have Finale's other alts of these. So here's Amane. I love her. I like her design, her color palette, all that good stuff. Here's her character card. Very nice. Very simple. Very clean. Good stuff there. Now this 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 item here is probably one of my favorite items I ended up picking up. Um, I got it as a gift on the when I went to the con and that I mentioned in the last video and this is a 3d replica of the moon stick from the original Sailor Moon this is awesome it it feels right it fits right like it fits the size of my hand right and the weight of it is good the height of it how you know how light it is and it feels perfect the guy who had this he also had a gold painted version which I thought was pretty cool but I decided to go with the original one because I'm not that big a fan of gold so like if it was silver I probably would have picked that but I like this I believe this might be 3d printed but I'm not sure on that so don't quote me on that but this is beautiful. It is absolutely replicated perfectly to the nines. It's awesome. I love it. It looks like how it's supposed to. It feels like how it's supposed to. And even though it's not like a toy replica or something that actually plays the sound bites and different things like that, it feels like it. It feels like an official product. So this is awesome and it wasn't that expensive surprisingly so I find that this was totally worth it and it's awesome here we have a keychain thingy from a blind box keychain thingy from Precure more specifically Cure Cure Precure and unfortunately I did not get the one I wanted because like you know my luck with blind boxes kind of sucks I haven't put it together yet but I ended up getting this one of macaron and chocolate which sucks because I really wanted the one of parfait but that's okay I guess uh, although I honestly out of all the design options here that you can see based on what's on the front of the box I really wanted either the star shape or the attack item shape I wanted one of these two I end up getting the heart shape I wanted this color in particular. I would have even taken this color. <laughs> I ended up with the, the yellow color. So I also really wanted Parfait. I ended up with the uh, Macaron on Chocolate. So yeah, that kind of sucks. I pretty much got... I almost got my least option out of all of them, which really does suck, but that's okay because uh, I love Chocolate a lot. She's one of my favorite. One of my favorite cures. She is my second favorite from Cure Cure Pre-Cure, so... That's not a total loss. I don't like Macaron at all. I'm sorry to all the Macaron fans out there. But yeah, I, I love chocolate, so that's a W. Kind of. A half W. <laughs> but I like it, it's nice, and I'll be able to it's a keychain, so I'll be able to obviously put it with my other ones and all that good stuff. So here we have a 
Zachary, new Zakuro keychain from Tokyo Mew Mew New, specifically, because obviously the art style and it says new, very small right there. I know you guys probably can't see because it doesn't want to focus, but that's okay. Oh. Um, so here is, I believe these were like, there was like a theme of them. They were like wedding styled uh, keychains of all five of the girls. I obviously picked up the Zakuro one because I'm a massive Zakuro fan. I love this. It's so pretty. It has her Zakros whip with it too. I, this is so cute. And this is an official item. I love this so, 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 so much. I have several of new Zakro keychains now. Because I, I love Zakro. Oh my goodness. She is just so, she, I, she is just the most relatable of the group for me. So like, and I just, I really love how, in her new design, how she has that ponytail, so. And I have a thing for purple magical girl guys, so there's that too. So here we have some cookie pouches. And I don't remember if I mentioned it in the last video, but when I went to the Cherry Blossom Festival, there were two of these left, and I picked up both of them, and that's... All well and good because, as you guys know, I'm a Precure fan, so, like, obviously I was gonna do that. So, here is the first sticker that one of them came with. It is of the Delicious Party Fairies, and these, uh, these two cookie boxes are from Delicious Party. If you're wondering how the cookies were, I like the cookies in these. I have had these before. Not this necessarily the Delicious Party iteration, but the cookies themselves don't change. And here's the second sticker, by the way. Here's Precious. For some reason, I always end up getting Precious. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, this one doesn't have Finale, so I would have preferred to get Spicy. Uh, I don't know if Takumi was an option, but... Takumi as well would have been great. So I've had these cookies before, basically, and they're good. You know, they're good. They're a simple little thing, and that hasn't changed throughout the iterations of Precure Seasons. So I figured I would just throw that out there. They're nice. They're a nice little, nice little pickup if you really want a cute little snack or something like that. This definitely was one of the highlights out of this whole haul. This is a Madoka Magica inspired keychain. It is a soul gem and it, and the uh, the key hook is a star shape. But what's special about this is this was designed by an artist. So this is not an official product. So it is a shaker keychain. I guess we'll call it that. So basically if you can see here there's there's Homura's head because I picked the Homura one. They had all of them except Madoka. Madoka probably sold out, I'd imagine. But yeah, they had all five, well, in my case, by the time I got there, four of the main girls from Madoka Magica. And it's a little chibi head of theirs, and it was inside this soul gem, and it shakes around and bounces around. This is super duper cute. I really like this. Honestly, I love this quite a bit. And as a Homer fan, I thought that, you know, this would be perfect to add to the amount of Homer things I have, which isn't too many, but yeah, I really like this. This is one of the most clever things I've actually ever seen at a con or just in general. So I love this a lot for sure. What we have here is a pack of various anime stickers, and I will only show you guys the most relevant ones for the sake of video time. But here we have a Precure one. Unfortunately, it says go to Force on it. But we're just gonna do this, okay? Here's a Doki Doki Precure one. Here's a Sailor Moon one. Here's a Dragon Maid one. And I was actually like, yesterday, not yesterday, but you know. Uh, like, I learned basically that Dragon Maid is considered a magical girl anime, which is kind of weird to me. Um, literally, I saw it's on the Maho Shujo wiki, which is interesting so yes i have watched dragon maid i don't remember if i watched them whatever the most recent season is i don't think i finished it but yeah that's pretty cool and there's a whole bunch of other things in here uh but those are the most relevant so if you guys weren't aware i made it i made it relevant in the previous video but i am now a konosuba fan 
because I am a not just magical girl guy anime fan, I'm also a magic anime fan, as in anime that has something to do with magic. Konosuba is one of those series, and actually Konosuba, I haven't seen too many, but Konosuba is my favorite out of those so far. And it also has a mobile game, so like, yeah, it's, 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 it's good and strong, it's got a spin-off right now for my favorite character, good stuff. So I bought this. I had some, some money, so I was able to splurge on a couple of things, um, which I got, got this later, but it was basically a couple of birthday gifts for myself, <laughs> is what I'm saying, with some, some money I had. But I was only able to buy things that were on the US with the card that I had. So basically I went on eBay and I was like, maybe I'll find some good deals. I actually did find some good deals, surprisingly. But this, this is really nice. This is a Konosuba lunch bag and it's got the tag. So yes, it's official, even though I don't support Crunchyroll anymore. But we won't talk about that. That's a different video. But yeah, here's the uh, the tag. It even says that it's a lunch bag right here. I wish this would focus better, but you get the idea. There's the the four of them. Megami, best girl. Just saying for the record, there she is, Megami, best girl. But yeah, you know, how 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 nice is that? You know, it's very cute, and I like how Konosuba uses the chibis. And if you're wondering what's on the inside, well. I know there's going to be at least one person who's curious what's on the inside. And ready for the real reveal? Three, two, one, nothing. <laughs> Except for this tag down here in the corner. These tags down there that just say Konosuba and all that good stuff. Just so you know it's an official product. But yeah, this I feel like is going to be something I use on like small trips and things like that. I feel like this could come in handy. So I was like, this is very cute. Um, it's Konosuba. It could be useful. Let me go ahead and get that. So that's what I did. Yeah. Konosuba lunch bag with the chibi sprites of the four main characters. I love it. It's great. The Konosuba goodness doesn't stop there though. Because here I have two light novels from Konosuba. You know, the funny thing is I actually didn't realize this before I bought them. But one of them is from one spinoff and one is from the other. So this is from the Explosion spinoff. But even though this is the Explosion spinoff, this is actually the bonus story of the Explosion spinoff. So this is the first volume of that. That's great. I don't have any other volumes. That's great. So that works out. But this is the Explosion spinoff just just the explosion spinoff like as in the anime that's airing right now for Konosuba it's that this is the second volume of that problem is I don't have the first volume <laughs> so like I know what happens because of the anime so I'm guessing that when I jump into this it'll like you know it'll be familiar to me but still I made that error and it's kind of awkward um, just in case you were wondering what the pictures look like on the inside yeah okay there's that um, cool yeah there there's this as well love Megamine and Union I love them uh, yeah okay there's let's see it, there's like even a map in here it's cool but basically the I never bought a light novel before so, I didn't realize this. I had an idea on how these things worked, but I've never read a light novel before or bought a light novel before. But as you can see, hold on, let me do this the right way. So as you can see, book, reading. So for me, that's great. But if you guys don't like reading or, or something along those lines, I would not recommend uh, recommend getting getting light novels. Just so you know, I love reading. I love 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 reading books. So this is great for me. This will be very very delightful for me. Look at this art. Um, Chris, other best girl. Oh my goodness. Uh, anyways, yeah, this this is great for me. I am going to enjoy this a lot. Definitely going to enjoy this a lot. 
It's just, like I said, the problem... The problem for people who aren't book readers is that, you know, it's a book. So, like, it's like a regular book. It's not like manga, where you can finish it in like a half hour. It's a book book. So, do keep that in mind if you decide to pick up light novels, whether that be Konosuba or anything else. And also, make sure you uh, read the fine print, okay? Like, this is Explosion spin-off, this is Explosion bonus story. I'm gonna enjoy reading them either way, but still. Mental note. Especially because these are my first light novels, so I'm definitely gonna enjoy them. But mental note. Do look what you're look at what you're buying in fine detail on something like this before you buy it. I had no idea before I did this, so do keep that in mind. So if you guys remember in the last video I talked about how Konosuba's got an explosion spin-off going on right now. I even bought one of the volumes of the light novel for that, as well as one of the spin-off volumes of that spin-off. <sighs> well, I bought this. I bought this. This Megumin plushie. And it's her in her school uniform. No, it's not her in her usual attire with her, um, with her usual hat and everything, but this is very, very cute. And it's actually not based on that. It's based on the movie. And the reason I know that is because this came with an official tag. And this is the image, the poster image for the movie. The Konosuba movie. Not the, uh, the anime spinoff that's going on right now. So, yeah. This is a very nice image, and I know it's ironic. This tag is, has the Japanese logo on it. Where it has the lunch bag I showed earlier has the English, uh, logo on it. So, there is an irony with that, but, yeah. There's all of them. I wish this would focus a little more. Eh. But there you go. You get the idea there with that. So, here she is. And this is actually a plush keychain of her. It's very nice. It's very cute. And I love, love, love her school uniform. So, it's very nice. It has that very uh, magic-esque feel to it very very cute and this plushie is adorable I never actually bought a plushie like this those Tsum Tsum style plushies I've been always wanting to get my hands on a Precure one which I for some reason can never find easily <laughs> but regardless I ended up buying this one so this is the first time I bought a plushie of this style and I like this it's very cute and I love 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 Mega Bean. She's my favorite from Konosuba, besides Chris. So, I love this. This is very cute. And it's also a keychain, so like, I can hang it up and different things like that. So it's very, very cute. It also came, the seller was very nice and gave me a bonus. And that bonus is this card right here of Megamine. The back is just like one of those like and like the other details on it is like one of those uh, card game-esque things, you know, those things that exist with the point system and all that good stuff. But the important part here is that it's Mega Man. It's a card of her. I like that the seller included something of her that, that matched, so I like this, this card. I like this plushie. Mega Man is adorable. I love her so much, so yeah. Now this, folks, this is probably the holy grail of the video, just so you guys know, so keep, keep that in mind, okay? But <laughs> Okay, but honestly, I think you guys know, based on like all the SMG4 related videos I've done now, how or even, even videos that weren't SMG4 videos and I still somehow threw in a mention of this little little monster i freaking i just just look at him guys like like what do you guys want me to say at this point like oh my goodness it's smg3 it's he's real he's finally real he's finally real like in case you guys ever ever thought i was crazy for being as addicted to him as i am he's real 
Just just look at the details on him. This plushie is very nice. I absolutely love Glitch's plushies, so like, there's that. But this is very nice in quality. The things around his uh, his shoes here, they're not they're not plastic. They're um, I think they're actually metal. Like. You can see that reflection there, and it has that actual metallic feel, which I think is pretty sick. I love his redesign. I, the only thing that is, I have a personal gripe with is the color palette. I really wish that his overalls were like actually jet black, like they once were. Otherwise, this is perfect. I love this. This plushie is so like just it's it's him. I mean, what what do you guys want me to say? It's it's like. What can I say that I haven't already said? Okay, honestly, what can I say that I have not already said? I love him so much. Oh my god. He is truly the definitive character ever. Besides, I am. He is truly the definitive character ever. Okay, just look at his little gloves. Just look at his expression. I love this plushie so much. So, this... Maybe just maybe at the end of the video, I'll, t I'll share with you guys my absolute favorite item out of everything. Let's just say this is a candidate. That's what I have to say. This plushie is so high quality. I, I love it. It's perfect. It's him. What can I say? Also came with, with my SMG3 plushie, of course, is the card. Card. Here it is. Look, there's this little egg dog. How cute is that? But then look at the back. I was- I saw this and I literally had a stroke, as you guys could probably guess. But look at this! Look at this, oh my god. I love this so much. Like, it, it, what can I say besides how f <sighs> Look at how wholesome this is. It's so unnecessary. This is what I love about Glitch in particular. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't even get me started, I can't. Anyways, yeah, look at this card. I love this card so much. Like, just as much as I love SMG3. Okay, maybe not that much, but like... <laughs> but seriously, though, it's SMG3. What am I, what am, what am I gonna say, you know? It's, it's so perfect. I love this. 10 out of 10. I, 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 I just love this. It's perfect. Here we have something else from the theme of uh, SMG4 and Glitch. It's Four's cap! And you know what's crazy is I have my own cosplay cap that I made, but now I don't have to use that anymore, now I can use this. Which is great, because it's an official thing that I can use, but still, this is awesome! I always wanted to get the uh, the regular cap he, ha he, he has like on the website, you know, on the, the Glitch store website. But I'm glad to have this one more just because this one, you know, is, is better for cosplay purposes. And if you guys don't know, I have a gender bent SMG4 cosplay, so now I can kind of use this for that and I am very happy about that. It's soft, it's good material, it's comfy, I like it. It has this baseball cap like uh, front to it and it's got obviously the S with the like the glitch effect he has now. I really love that about his cap design by the way. For the record I love how that has been changed like that. It makes a lot of sense because it matches like the glitch productions intro like on their shows like I think Sunset Paradise and Meta Runner did that, but Murder Drones I don't think actually starts with the glitch intro, which is kind of funny, but regardless, yeah, it's it's got that and even has detailing to it. It's not all flat. It's very nice. It's very cool. And uh, yeah, just, just in case you guys wanted to see, there we go. It's not all the way off, but you get the idea. So definitely we'll be utilizing this in the future. And of course, here's a print of four. Because 4 is my other is my second favorite from SMG4 and one of my favorite characters ever. I love 4. In case you guys didn't know, I absolutely adore 4. So, um, and of course the note, this image here. Yeah, okay. But like, I love this, you know? It's, it's nice. What can I say? It's the same art style as the poster. It's, which the poster is so like, it's going to be awesome. So here is the... SMG4 movie poster, the it's gotta be or it's gonna be perfect, whatever that 
yeah, that movie that came out this year. Here's the poster for that. There'll be a picture of it up on screen somewhere because I don't feel like taking this out at the moment for this video. So, yeah, enjoy the picture. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this poster. It's got three, four, and Maggie on it, so Maggie's my favorite girl. Three is my favorite character, four is my second favorite character, so you know it's gonna be a good time when you've got all three of them on there. And it was pretty much the thumbnail, which makes sense, obviously. But yeah, awesome, awesome movie, awesome, po awesome poster too. Just the artists really go ham on this stuff, and it's awesome. Always turns out awesome. So here we have this, this little guy. Look at him. This is a blue squid based on Splatoon because as you guys know Splatoon my favorite game favorite game series yeah all that good stuff so whenever I go to places I will often buy Splatoon things especially because I sometimes I feel like I just don't see it enough and and whatnot but I really like to buy uh, fan-made things where I can so this is a pixel squid it is a blue one because blue is my favorite color, so of course I was going to pick the blue squid. And it's a standy, so it comes off this stand. I'm not going to take it off because I'm going to struggle to put it back on. <laughs> so <laughs> if I take it off, it's going to be annoying. But, you know, as you can see, it's like a, a paint splash, basically, that this, this little squid is on. And this is really cute, and obviously that's going to be added to my Splatoon, one of my Splatoon sections over there. So, yeah, here's a little pix pixel squib on a stand. Next, we've got two games. Yes, we've got two games here. That one came out this year. One came out like one of the first few years of the Switch's life cycle, and I just never got around to getting it. So here we have Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe and Luigi's Mansion 3. I will say, at the time of recording this video, I haven't tried Luigi's Mansion 3 yet, but if you guys remember, I made a King Boo AMV, I used clips from it, so I have seen lots of scenes and gameplay and footage from this game, so obviously at this point, how would I not have all these years later? <laughs> so I'm very excited to try it, I've never tried a Luigi's Mansion game, and I know, shame on me, how can I be a King Boo fan and I've never tried a Luigi's Mansion game. I know, I know. <laughs> so that's why I really wanted to try it, not just for him, but because I also really love Luigi. I, I'm a Luigi fan for sure. Luigi's one of my favorite Mario characters, so definite excitement for that. But this, I have been playing this. At the time of this video, I have been playing this. No, no cartridge in here or in that one, only because I already put them in my case that I keep my games in. But yeah, I really like this game so far. Uh, it's no Forgotten Land, that's for certain. If you guys didn't know, Forgotten Land is probably one of my favorite games ever. So, it's not Forgotten Land, but it's a delight, and I'm enjoying it, and I love the quality of life upgrades that they've made, and, you know, the Kirby series seems to be doing it right. I wish the Mario series, we could say the same thing. But, the Kirby series going out of strong. These upgrades, game ports, with actual love put into them. Good stuff. And then, like I said, this game, super excited to try. So, good stuff there. So then, here is Shiver from Splat 3. I love Shiver so much. Oh my goodness. Not that that's going to come as a surprise. But like, yeah. I will always be on Shiver's team whenever I can. I, not not always, because you guys know, if you guys didn't know already, I always pick based on the theme, not the idols. Otherwise, I would have been on her team every time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really love her. And I like this, this sticker. This sticker of her doesn't have that swirly-eyed style, but... It kind of makes sense, just because of Splatoon's art style, trying to, trying to mesh it. This is really nice. I really like this Boozette or Booette, depending how you'd like to call her. I really like her too, so like I think she's cute when when not drawn over overly eluded. I think she's really cute, so and as you guys know, I am an avid King Boo fan. And just an avid Boo fan in general, so like, you know, 
I like her too as a result. So yeah, this this artist did this, and as you maybe can see, just barely, she's got that swirly eyed style again, because that's like the thing that that's like the common thing that is consistent in this artist's art style. So yeah, there she is. They even gave her a little tail. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very very cute. I really really like this. Also from the same artist. The same artist that did the Tokyo Mew Mew uh, poster as well as the two, the three stickers, Zakuro, Buzette, and Shiver, also did this one. This is a Splatoon poster of all the idols except for Big Man Rip. Um, don't know why. And also they included the original Orange Inkling Girl. I love this a lot. Again, this artist's art style is just really, really pretty. It's really, really nice. The way they do this chibi art is just really nice. I really like it a lot. I wanted to- fun fact, I really wanted to buy the Mari sticker as well, but I ended up picking <laughs> Shiver out of Force of Habit, because Shiver is my favorite uh, Splatoon idol. Mari would be my other favorite. So yeah, there is the uh, Orange Inkling girl look at her. Don't know why they included her and didn't include Big Man. I guess this was one of those artists that just kind of wanted to just do the girls. Like, I get it, but you know, I, I don't know. I just don't like when people do that. But regardless, I can't complain because this art style is really, really nice. And I like that they included the original Inkling girl too. So this is very very cute I really like it I also wanted to buy the original Inkling girl as a sticker again but yeah this is a very nice nice uh, poster and I honestly can't have enough Splatoon they had this deal where you could get uh, two posters get one free so I got this one for free from the artist that did the Splatoon idols and the Tokyo Mew Mew poster this is a uh, Kirby print and again, it's got this rainbow colored background, all these different colored Kirby's in it, and, and different characters and things, and I really love this. It's so, 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 so pretty. It's like, it's very pleasing to look at. And I just, I really love posters and prints that are very pleasing to look at with like lots of color and like a very cute art style. So as you can imagine, I ate this one up <laughs> quite literally. Oh, I love it. It's so nice. Shout out to the Kirby fans out there. Um, yeah, this is adorable. Look at this. This is so wholesome. I just love this. The cloud enemies and then just the Kirby's like in this arc, which is kind of reminiscent of a rainbow. It's just really nice, especially because they're multicolored Kirby's. So yeah, I really like this. What? What a cute art print! Honestly, it's so pretty. What else can I say? It's just so gorgeous. This artist really, really took my heart away, literally. We have some Mario stickers. Here's the first one. This says Super Mario Bros. Color Shines. And I saw this, and as you guys can probably guess, I saw it was Mario, it was Rainbow, it's really pretty, and I was like, oh, this would be perfect. Um, you know, it's a sticker, so I figured it would be perfect to put on something, like my laptop or whatever, so I like this. Then we have the classic Super Mario Bros. logo. Again, it's colorful, it's Mario, it's not stolen or anything like that. It's legit. It's great. Then we have Mario and Luigi in the font down here of the... Uh, the Mario and Luigi series game series though that is what the font is down here but then the, these renders are like I, I think they were new Super Mario Bros renders so as you can see it's like two things put together or something like that I believe so either way it works out it's Mario and Luigi I figured that would be a good one to have then of course this galaxy sticker you guys know I'm a avid galaxy fan Mostly Galaxy 2, but I love the first game too. So here is a, uh, a spin, the Galaxy spin. Very nice. So I mentioned about a Pixel Squid standee. Well, I also bought a Pixel Squid necklace because because I can honestly. 
They also had a rainbow star, and I realized this after I bo had bought the two things. And I was like, oh, I want that rainbow star from Mario. But like, I didn't. I, I ended up not picking, picking that, but I think that was probably a better idea anyway. Because <laughs> this was still early on when I was at the con, so. Anyways, here is my Pixel Squid necklace. I love this. It's here great. we have a awesome uh, art item, and if you guys didn't realize I I love art items, not necessarily just prints and stuff and stickers. So here we have an art block of Boo. Well, there's two of them here, but look at this. This is so it's so pretty, and it's it's really really cute, and it's a painted I probably a, acrylic. It's an art block, and it's a Boo art block, and uh, this is what the back looks like. I remember I had to do a project like this before when I was younger in grade school, so, or elementary school. Yeah, this is really nice. So it does remind me of that, but obviously with a much more mature grown-up sense in the art style. Obviously, not like, like that kind of mature, but like, you know, it's, it's... It's well developed is what I'm saying. So I really love this and it will sit very nicely wherever I, wherever I end up deciding to put it. And it's boo, the background's colorful. It's pretty, it's nice. So here is a pin of the Inkling Girl from Splatoon 1. And this artist also actually had a print of the Splatoon 3 Inkling Girl, but at that point I didn't want to spend any more money because I had spent quite a bit at, at the con at that point. But I really was close to buying that Splatoon 3 Inkling Girl art print because you guys probably know I love the Splatoon 3 Inkling Girl so much. She is my favorite out of all the like advertisement characters from Splatoon. I love her the most. So here is the one from the first game. And I like this background. This is very cute. I, I love this. And obviously, as a massive Splatoon fan, a must. <laughs> so, I did mention in the previous video that I bought some stuff. Well, I didn't buy, but I got some stuff from the Mario movie. And the company and or store called Lush had a collab with the Mario movie. So I was able to get my hands on three things, a coin bar soap, a Mario shower gel, and a peach shower jelly. The shower jellies are weird, it feels almost like those slime things, but like, can clean you, <laughs> and it smells really good. It's peach and pineapple. The the Princess Peach themed one is, is peach and pineapple, so that one smells like really, really good. The, the coin bar soap didn't say it had a specific scent, but it smells really good, too. Not as good as the other two, but it definitely smells good. And then the last thing was the Mario shower gel. All this stuff is in images because, well, because I've been using it, so <laughs> it would be kind of, kind of weird if I showcased it now. So, <laughs> um... The last thing is the Mario shower gel, which it's, I forget exactly what it says on the bottle now, but it's like lime and, and pepper and like something else. It's really weird sounding at first, but then you realize it smells like cola, like soda. It smells like soda, basically. So I absolutely love that scent. I've never had a soda themed scent in a body care product before. I have to say, I really like it. So, if you guys like um, Mario, if you guys enjoyed the Mario movie, or anything like that, if those things are still available or in stock or available to you wherever you might live, I would recommend those 100%. They smell good. The only problem is the prices on those things really suck, and those things sold out pretty quickly. So, that's why I wasn't able to get like the Luigi one or something like that. But,. I think the sense of those things were worth it. I don't know what the other things are like. I only know those three things because those were the three things I ended up with. So if you guys do know about the other ones, do free f feel free to let me know in the comment section because like I am obsessed with those products. And then I actually checked out the store physically too. I didn't buy anything when I did, but when I walked around and looked at it, I was just like, oh my goodness. There are other products. I want to buy their other products. <laughs> but 
But no, I didn't buy any of their other products, but... The problem with Lush versus Bath & Body Works is Lush is actually way more expensive than the Bath & Body Works, so... It's not just the Mario movie stuff, it's their products in general. So do keep that in mind if you decide to buy from Lush, whether that be for the Mario movie stuff or in general. Just keep that in mind, they're very pricey. Even Bath & Body Works is not as expensive, and Bath & Body Works is not cheap. But they are very, very, very not cheap, <laughs> let's just say. So, that's why I didn't pick up anything personally from them. I thought about it, I really did, but I just decided not to. Just because I'm using the products I already have, so. And plus I have a whole bunch of other stuff anyway. So, from other, other stuff like Bath & Body Works, so. <laughs> there's that. So, I know you guys are probably aware that I am a Marvel fan and that I'm a Doctor Strange fan and no, this next thing is not going to be Doctor Strange thing, believe it or not. I know, isn't that crazy? But, because I'm also a Shang-Chi fan, I ended up picking up this. And yes, this artist had, he had a Doctor Strange print and I very much thought about it, I'm not going to lie, but I liked this print just a little, little more, you know. As, as much as it's hard for me to admit. I I just like the the art style, trans, how it translated on this piece versus that piece, is what I'm saying. Both pieces are absolutely fire, but this one, I had to get this one, because I don't have any Shang prints either, so like, I, I needed to, to get a Shang print, and yeah, if you guys know I'm a massive Shang-Chi fan, I absolutely love this character, him, I love him so much for some reason. So yeah, here is a Shang print. He's got the rings and we got some fire action. This is sick, isn't it? Isn't it really cool? Let me let me just do this so you guys can get a better look at it. Got the rings, got the fire, the the costume detailing. This is awesome. And then there's the artist name. Finally, a piece where the artist put 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 the name there. Good. <laughs> so yes, or actually no, the artist signature is here. This is something different. But anyway, yeah, this is a sick print, isn't it? I just really like this. This this will sit nicely next to my Doctor Strange art print, which I have, I don't, and I bought it at another con. I think that was, was that last year? I think it was last year. Either way, yeah, now I got another Marvel character art print, and I got my second favorite Marvel character, so. Yeah, this is awesome. I love the detailing. I love this, like, the way the color looks here. I love the fire. This is so sick. I love this print. It's awesome. So if you guys remember in the previous video, I talked about how, and I showcased how I had gotten this Doctor Strange themed dress and how I even wore it out for the con that I went to and how I'm planning on wearing it for a vacation that I might be going on later in the year. I also got these because I really, really, really wanted to buy these because this is from an Etsy seller. And these are like, you know, those Disney ears or whatever, but they don't have any official Doctor Strange themed ears for some reason, which makes me sad. But the next best thing was Etsy, so. <laughs> and I love this. They. These ears are cute. Um, there we go. They're cute and stuff. Ah. <laughs> and I like them and everything. The only issue is that because this eye pendant is so heavy, it has a tendency to lean forward. So what I might do is I might try to super glue this a little better. So. Do be careful when you're trying to pick things from certain websites like Etsy because there might be something like that that happens, you know, where it's a little bit questionable in that regard. Not to say this is bad or like bad quality or anything. No, the, the ears are, are squishy too. So like, they're like, they feel like almost memory foam. They feel like a, I don't want to say a cheaper version of memory foam, but they feel something like that. And then, obviously, everything here is very nice and bright, and obviously it's colors, so that makes sense in that regard. And I love that this, again, that this eye pendant is here, 
But what's very, very cool about it is the fact that they glue a green, they glued a green gem inside a gemstone to kind of mimic the infinity stone that sits there, which is very awesome. And also, it says, it says Doctor Strange on the back of it. I actually have a pendant like this that I got for uh, my Halloween costume last year, and which was which was him. So, and I also wore that to a con. So, yeah, I have seen this particular pendant before, but I like this pendant anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's it's very nice, and I again I really love how the seller threw in that extra detail of the green gemstone so this will match that outfit and as you guys know I'm a sucker for for Doctor Strange so I really like this this is very nice here is a pin it, this artist had a bunch of chibi pins with a bunch of different characters I picked up this one of Doctor Strange because I was not leaving the con or just the month of April in general without picking up something of him besides the other stuff I already picked up of him. Well, I didn't directly pick up, but I got whatever. So here's a chibi pin of Doctor Strange. I love this. This art style is cute. I, this art, the, the artists at this stop had several characters. They even had some really nice prints. I didn't look through the prints too much, but they did have some nice ones. The ones I did look through. But yeah, there he is. This is very cute, and I love it a lot. Very useful to me. So here, one of the, uh, surprisingly, one of the not Nintendo game things is a Sonic standee. Uh, this one is an acrylic standee, and this is Sonic and Tails on a cloud with a rainbow backdrop. I believe it's based around the classic Sonic games, but when I first saw this, it made me honestly think of the Sonic movie too, which I really did enjoy. Um, so, and I am definitely a Tails fan. I've always been a Tails fan since childhood. So, uh, I saw this and I was just like, ooh, yeah, I really think that would sit nice on my Sonic shelf. Because my Sonic shelf right now is pretty much all Tails stuff, so we'll match that. But I kind of, I just, uh, it's really cute. The art style is really cute. It has a rainbow. I just, it's really pretty and it's cute and I like it, so there's that. So, here's another art print. This one, this time, is a Tails print. It's a human Tails print. How how cute is this? I really like this. You guys know, if you don't already, I'm such a Tails fan when it comes to Sonic, so I've always really, really loved him. For some reason, I just, I feel like connection to him. And usually when I have a favorite character, it's almost always because I relate to them the most. And uh, yeah, pretty much, I just, I really love him. He's so cute and he's... He's so helpful and he's so smart and I, I really love that about him. So I saw this human tail sprint and my my soul just went, Oh my goodness, I need that. So yeah, this this print is so cute. I love this art style so 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 much. They did a whole this artist had a whole bunch of uh, Sonic character uh, human version art prints and I saw this one and of course I had to get this one. It's so cute. It's I like this uh, faded background. It kind of reminds me of what I do with my art. If you guys know, I usually do like I put all my focus on the character and then I make my backgrounds uh, blurred like this. So like, you know, the attention really goes on the character. Although as you can see, they kind of put a shadow around highlighting the character. That's probably something I could do too to make it pop a little more. But yeah, this is really cute. I really like this. This translates well. It's perfect. I love it. So, as you guys know, I'm a diehard Magical Girl Guy fan and a Magic Anime fan. That's no, that's no secret. It's no surprise. It's probably not even a big shock. So, <laughs> there was a seller who had a lot of body care products so if you guys didn't know I'm like super obsessed with body care products just I'm sure you'll have figured that out by the end of the video <laughs> so there's a seller who had these really cute um, self-care body care products and 
I ended up buying three of them and I and the seller gave me one for free so they had this this girl had these um, these ones called the magical girl and they actually I forget exactly what they smell like but they're very nice they smell very nice too they they don't just look nice I I feel like they smell like peach or something like that you know like a, fr a fruit of some type so they smell good at least and we have a lotion a body spray and a shower gel basically or yeah body wash shower gel and it even says you can use it as a bubble bath as well so there's that if you so desire <laughs> um so I bought all three of these they also this the girl also had candles but I don't really have a use for candles so I don't buy candles but yeah I bought all of these and these were all of the things the seller had available and then I got this for free because uh, I was like you know what let me pick this one too I also forget what this one smells like this is another body wash by the way or a shower gel whatever this one's called dark mage and what's funny about that is I've been trying to pull dark and magician in Splatoon as my title for literally since the first day the game came out so Still haven't pulled either of those things yet. <laughs> but yeah, Dark Mage, that kind of reminds me of myself. So like, I was just like, oh, I like that. And the, uh, the print here is cute. It's like, these are like animals with like different, different gimmicks and stuff that match the theme of like the theme of the title or whatever. So I like these. These are very nice and I am obsessed with body care products. So. W. So here we have a rainbow peep plushie. I got this on Easter. It's very nice. And it came with this blanket. It's soft as well. Probably not as soft as some of the other plushies in this video, but it's soft and it's it's kind of squishy. It's got this like stuff on the bottom of it. So there's that. And this blanket, it's a good material and it's a good size for me. I wouldn't recommend this blanket for people that are tall. Definitely wouldn't recommend that. It, it's definitely better for people that are shorter or like children. So, yeah. But anyways, the peep here is the highlight for me. I just like that it came with the blanket. So, yeah, it was kind of like this in the, in the store, I think. So, yeah. Good deal. Good stuff. So, this is the first volume from the anime manga called Spy Family and I actually recently watched this anime this was I think I watched it last month yeah last month I was watching it because I kept seeing it for like almost a year and you know it seemed like it'd be cute and promising so I was just kind of like you know what I think I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this I had a couple dollars left I ended up picking this and I like this this is a good book um it's a good show. It's a good. I can see see why it might be popular, but like, I can see why people might not like it or something like that. But I think it's worth it. I think it is a good a good little show to watch. It's a good a good manga series to read too. Well, I only have the first volume, but you get what I'm saying. It's it's good. I like it. It's not just a show you necessarily need to watch for one particular character. I I like it a lot. So I think it's good. So then here we have is a. If it would flip the right way. A game control necklace. This is really cute and it's really nice. And I just thought it would be another another nice accessory type thing to have to wear with outfits and stuff. And I of course picked the blue one here because it's my favorite color, first of all. And this is just really cute and it's a nice accessory and I feel like you know, it could make like I said, good it could do well with outfits basically so I like this it's cute it's a game controller obviously I am a gamer of some ex to some extent so yeah very nice now this is an iTunes card and all I have to say about this iTunes card is that when I do actually buy the things I will make a community post so that'll go up then just so you're aware okay so Another miscellaneous thing, set of miscellaneous things we have here is I really wanted to buy some 
some earrings and I haven't bought new earrings in a while and I saw these earrings and I thought they were pretty funky so here we have these green cupcakes I thought these are kind of cute you know they're kind of neat I feel like you know they might go well with something or the other and then we've got these purple pineapples these are like basically flat as you can see they're basically flat and then these are like 3d bulky they have that like you know they have that sort of realism to them whereas these are flat but all all of these work out you know I like these they're they're bright they're pretty nice and I thought they'd be a nice addition to have. so part of the the last item uh, of the day last items of the day as I've mentioned in the video, I am obsessed with body care products. I, I love them. I, I, I have my brands of choice and different things like that. Well, one thing I did get was a gift card for Bath & Body Works. So I got some stuff at Bath & Body Works. So here we have first thing is this shower gel. The scent is called Among the Clouds. There was a rainbow colored one with a scent and I forget what it was called now and I was gonna buy it but I ended up not getting it because I found a better deal there. But this, this is nice. I don't know what this smells like yet but I think I did smell it already. When I was in the store and I bought it I smelled it and I liked it so I was like ooh yes I'm gonna buy that. Then we have this. Since summer is coming up, I figured a beach themed scent would be appropriate or like a ocean themed scent. I usually like to buy ocean themed scent things in the, around the summertime and during the summertime. So this one's called At the Beach. I've gotten this particular scent before so I know what it smells like and I like this one. Not my favorite in the world but I really do like this one. And then besides the Among the Clouds shower gel, this is probably my favorite thing I bought. This is not just a body spray like the previous thing. This is a shimmer spray. So like when you spray it, it, it puts glitter on you. So like, let me just, let me just rub it. So if you guys can see that, I don't know if you can see that, like, you can, you can kind of see it. Basically it puts glitter on you and it smells really good. So that is a a bonus and I actually got something of this particular scent strawberry pound cake I had gotten a sanitized spray of that scent um, I think a couple of months ago or something like that and I just freaking love that scent so um, I saw this in the store and I was like "Ooh, I gotta get that I have to get that scent it's something that scent is amazing. I love strawberry scented things. I love strawberry themed things. Who doesn't like strawberry? Okay. <laughs> like, who doesn't like strawberry themed things? But there we go. There is the last of the items for today. So that was my merch haul from April 2023. I hope you guys in enjoyed all, all of this uh, showcasing, this touring, this stuff. If you guys want to see me do this like every month or like every couple of months again please feel free to let me know i enjoyed uh definitely enjoyed showcasing this stuff and of course all of the artists that i was able to snag business cards are on the screen for you guys to see and of course if any of you watching this happen to be any of the artists and i didn't get to mention you please do feel free to comment down below with which thing belonged to you or something like that just so i can highlight you and make sure all credit is given where credit is is due with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video like i said if you want to see me make another make more videos like this one in the future where i showcase merch i buy for the month or a couple of months and videos like the previous one where i talk about where where i've traveled and different experiences I've had and different things like that. Do feel free to let me know. I'd, I'd love to know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. It'd be great. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. And what was your highlight of all of the things that I showcased today? My favorite thing, probably going to be predictable, but the SMG3 plushie. But there was like a whole bunch of things that I really, really loved from this video. So that's very difficult. I also really, really liked the um, art prints from, again, one of the one of the cards on here. It was like something, it was like Neki Neko art or something like that. 
Their art prints were incredible. I loved them. The stickers, they're so, the art style is perfect. So that was my other highlight besides all the scented stuff and whatnot. And obviously the top tier, number one, SMG3 plushie. But what was your favorite stuff I showcased? Be feel free to let me know all of that stuff down in the comment section below. And of course, be feel free to give this video a like if you enjoy merch hauls and people talking about things they buy. Probably some un unnecessary, probably some necessary. I don't know. <laughs> and of course, subscribe for more content like this. I really would appreciate if you did. I'm trying to hit 500 at least by the end of the year. So with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day or wonderful night, whatever time it may be for you. And as always, stay magical. I'll see you in the next one.